This is the Justice and Kindness Daily Scripture Reading for April 6th, New American Standard Version. Go to glow.fm forward slash justice and kindness to support this effort. Leviticus chapter 9. Now it came about on the eighth day that Moses called Aaron and his sons and the elders of Israel, and he said to Aaron, Take for yourself a calf, a bull, for a sin offering, and a ram for a burnt offering, both without defect, and offer them before the Lord. Then to the sons of Israel you shall speak, saying, Take a male goat for a sin offering, and a calf and a lamb, both one year old, without defect, for a burnt offering and an ox and a ram for peace offerings, to sacrifice before the Lord, and a grain offering mixed with oil. For today the Lord will appear to you. So they took what Moses had commanded to the front of the tent of meeting, and the whole congregation came near and stood before the Lord. Moses said, This is the thing which the Lord has commanded you to do, that the glory of the Lord may appear to you. Moses then said to Aaron, Come near to the altar and offer your sin offering and your burnt offering, that you may make atonement for yourself and for the people. Then make the offering for the people, that you may make atonement for them, just as the Lord has commanded. So Aaron came near to the altar and slaughtered the calf of the sin offering, which was for himself. Aaron's sons presented the blood to him, and he dipped his finger in the blood and put some on the horns of the altar and poured out the rest of the blood at the base of the altar. The fat and the kidneys and the lobe of the liver of the sin offering he then offered up in smoke on the altar, just as the Lord had commanded Moses. The flesh and the skin, however, he burned with fire outside the camp. Then he slaughtered the burnt offering, and Aaron's sons handed the blood to him, and he sprinkled it around on the altar. They handed the burnt offering to him in pieces with the head, and he offered them up in smoke on the altar. He also washed the entrails and the legs, and offered them up in smoke with the burnt offering on the altar. Then he presented the people's offering, and took the goat of the sin offering which was for the people, and slaughtered it and offered it for sin, like the first. He also presented the burnt offering, and offered it according to the ordinance. Next, he presented the grain offering, and filled his hand with some of it, and offered it up in smoke on the altar, besides the burnt offering of the morning. Then he slaughtered the ox and the ram, the sacrifice of peace offerings which was for the people, and Aaron's sons handed the blood to him, and he sprinkled it around on the altar. As for the portions of fat from the ox and from the ram, the fat tail and the fat covering, and the kidneys and the lobe of the liver, They now placed the portions of fat on the breasts, and he offered them up in smoke on the altar. But the breasts and the right thigh Aaron presented as a wave offering before the Lord, just as Moses had commanded. Then Aaron lifted up his hands toward the people and blessed them, and he stepped down after making the sin offering and the burn offering and the peace offerings. Moses and Aaron went into the tent of meeting. When they came out and blessed the people, the glory of the Lord appeared to all the people. Then fire came out from before the Lord and consumed the burnt offering and the portions of fat on the altar. And when all the people saw it, they shouted and fell on their faces. Psalm 10 Why do you stand afar off, O Lord? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? In pride, the wicked hotly pursue the afflicted. Let them be caught in the plots which they have devised. For the wicked boasts of his heart's desire, and the greedy man curses and spurns the Lord. The wicked in the haughtiness of his countenance does not seek him. All his thoughts are, there is no God. His ways prosper at all times. Your judgments are on high out of his sight. As for all his adversaries, he snorts at them. He says to himself, I will not be moved. Throughout all generations, I will not be in adversity. His mouth is full of curses and deceit and oppression. Under his tongue is mischief and wickedness. He sits in the lurking places of the villages 
in the hiding places, he kills the innocent. His eyes stealthily watch for the unfortunate. He lurks in a hiding place as a lion in his lair. He lurks to catch the afflicted. He catches the afflicted when he draws him into his net. He crouches, he bows down, and the unfortunate fall by his mighty ones. He says to himself, God has forgotten. He has hidden his face. He will never see it. Arise, O Lord. O God, lift up your hand. Do not forget the afflicted. Why has the wicked spurned God? He has said to himself, you will not require it. You have seen it, for you have beheld mischief and vexation to take it into your hand. The unfortunate commits himself to you. You have been the helper of the orphan. Break the arm of the wicked and the evildoer. Seek out his wickedness until you find none. The Lord is king forever and ever. Nations have perished from his hand. O Lord, you have heard the desire of the humble. You strengthen their heart. You will incline your ear to vindicate the orphan and the oppressed, so that man who is of the earth will no longer cause terror. Proverbs chapter 24 Do not be envious of evil men, nor desire to be with them, for their minds devise violence, and their lips talk of trouble. By wisdom a house is built, and by understanding it is established, and by knowledge the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. A wise man is strong, and a man of knowledge increases power. For by wise guidance you will wage war, and in abundance of counselors there is victory. Wisdom is too exalted for a fool. He does not open his mouth in the gate. One who plans to do evil, men will call a schemer. The devising of folly is sin, and the scoffer is an abomination to men. If you are slack in the day of distress, your strength is limited. Deliver those who are being taken away to death, and those who are staggering to slaughter. Oh, hold them back. If you say, See, we did not know this. Does he not consider it who weighs the hearts? And does he not know it who keeps your soul? And will he not render to man according to his work? My son, eat honey, for it is good. Yes, the honey from the comb is sweet to your taste. Know that wisdom is thus for your soul. If you find it, then there will be a future, and your hope will not be cut off. Do not lie in wait, O wicked man, against the dwelling of the righteous. Do not destroy his resting place, for a righteous man falls seven times and rises again, but the wicked stumble in time of calamity. Do not rejoice when your enemy falls, and do not let your heart be glad when he stumbles, or the Lord will see it and be displeased and turn his anger away from him. Do not fret because of evildoers or be envious of the wicked, for there will be no future for the evil man the lamp of the wicked will be put out. My son, fear the Lord and the King. Do not associate with those who are given to change, for their calamity will rise suddenly, and who knows the ruin that comes from both of them. These also are sayings of the wise. To show partiality in judgment is not good. He who says to the wicked, you are righteous, peoples will curse him, nations will abhor him but to those who rebuke the wicked will be delight, and a good blessing will come upon them. He kisses the lips who gives a right answer. Prepare your work outside and make it ready for yourself in the field. Afterwards, then, build your house. Do not be a witness against your neighbor without cause, and do not deceive with your lips. Do not say, Thus I shall do to him as he has done to me, I will render to the man according to his work. I passed by the field of the sluggard and by the vineyard of the man lacking sense, and behold, it was completely overgrown with thistles. Its surface was covered with nettles, and its stone wall was broken down. When I saw, I reflected upon it. I looked and received instruction. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, then your poverty will come as a robber, and your want like an armed man. 
1 Thessalonians chapter 3. Therefore, when we could endure it no longer, we thought it best to be left behind at Athens alone, and we sent Timothy, our brother and God's fellow worker in the gospel of Christ, to strengthen and encourage you as to your faith, so that no one would be disturbed by these afflictions. For you yourselves know that we have been destined for this. For indeed, when we were with you, we kept telling you in advance that we were going to suffer affliction, and so it came to pass, as you know. For this reason, when I could endure it no longer, I also sent to find out about your faith, for fear that the tempter might have tempted you and our labor would be in vain. But now that Timothy has come to us from you and has brought us good news of your faith and love, and that you always think kindly of us, longing to see us just as we also long to see you, for this reason, brethren, in all our distress and affliction, we were comforted about you through your faith. For now we really live if you stand firm in the Lord. For what thanks can we render to God for you in return for all the joy with which we rejoice before God on your account, as we night and day keep praying most earnestly that we may see your face and may complete what is lacking in your faith? Now may God our Father himself and Jesus our Lord direct our way to you, and may the Lord cause you to increase and abound in love for one another and for all people, just as we also do for you, so that he may establish your hearts without blame in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his saints. The Justice and Kindness Daily Reading and Daily Devotional are a service to all those who seek to know God more fully and to have their mind renewed for Christ's sake. To help us continue this effort, please consider a one-time or monthly gift. Go to glow.fm forward slash justice and kindness to support this effort. That's glow.fm forward slash justice and kindness, all one word.